The purpose of a cardiac screen is to identify heart disease in a person before it becomes a problem. The very first time a person may be aware they have heart disease is when they have a heart attack and that's too late. So a cardiac screen identifies risk early on and allows that person to make changes to reduce the risk of a heart attack. To understand who should go cardiac screening, we need to understand what is heart disease and what do we understand by heart disease. Heart disease is a process where the arteries which supply the blood to the heart muscle become blocked with cholesterol plaques. And that process is, occurs with advancing age and in people who have risk factors for that process, which includes people who smoke, people who have high blood pressure, people who have high cholesterol, people who have diabetes, and people who have a very strong family history of heart disease occurring in their family at a younger age. So we encourage men older than 40 to come forward for a cardiac screen and women who are postmenopausal older than 45 to come for a screen. So when a person comes for a cardiac screen, the most important part is the history taking and the physical examination to understand that person's background cardiac risk. We then do a series of basic screening tests, which includes uh, an ECG, which is an electrical snapshot of the heart. We subject a person to a exercise treadmill test, which is a supervised test uh, with a, a protocol to increase that person's exercise capacity while the heart is being monitored. We may also do an ultrasound scan of the heart called an echocardiogram. A CT scan is another test that we offer as part of a executive cardiac screen and gives us information on the health of the heart arteries. It provides us information on whether there is any calcium inside the walls of the arteries which usually occurs as a reaction to the presence and buildup of plaques inside the heart arteries. Secondly, we inject dye into the arteries as part of the cardiac CT and that gives us some information on the health of the arteries as if blood was flowing through the arteries. Heart disease is a disease which is related to lifestyle and causes the person to have ongoing risk. So we encourage a person to have a screen once a year, especially if they're exposed to those ongoing risks. For example, if they've had a heart attack before, if, they've, if they're on treatment for high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, or if they continue to smoke.